it's 15.59 or correct. Yep, 15.59, 50 seconds. So in 10 seconds time, more or less. We're going to take off again from runway 32 at Damascus. So that means we're 1600 right now. Let's start rolling. It's 4 p.m. We apply the usual route to the crossroads, Presidential Palace, and crossroads on the northwest of of the city. So I've done it in the dawn, in the morning, and now we're doing it later in the afternoon. Let's do a rolling start onto the runway. Uh, after we get clear to take off, of course, I have to always do that. Mike India Golf 1. Mike India Golf 2. Tower make 007 ready for west departure in runway 23 left. There's our map. Let's zoom that out. There we go. We're heading for waypoint 1 to the west. Mike India Golf 1. Need to take off, so let's do it. Do a rolling takeoff. Runaway altitude just over 2,000 feet, 2,005 feet. So we're going to take off and turn right to head east. Let's go. Forty knots. Rudder kicks in. Sixty. 70, 80, 90, 100, rotating 6 degrees, whoops, and we're up, gear up, laps up, holding back stick until we get to about 200 knots, doing 160 now, 180, 200, and we can put a bit of back trim in and start turning right. For a heading west, there we go. Mike India Golf 1. And of course it's easy to find west in the afternoon because flying directly into the sun. So there's that road that heads east-west. Pretty much going to parallel that. And I'm going to fly this uh, version of the route at much higher speed than the previous two. So let's hope that works out for us. 350 knots already. Heading, get it back onto track. Pretty much on track now. Heading directly west. Okay, let's crank it up a bit and see what fun we can have. Skimming a few treetops. It's always fun. Watching out for those power lines. 378 knots already. Certainly whizzing along. It's drifting a little bit north there, so I'll come back left a little bit. There we go. Yep, so of course, the visual references here are right? the hills to just to the south of us, to our left. And when we turn right in a moment, keep the hills on our left as well. Damascus is up there to the right. Now just keep to the right of these hills and we'll find this uh, town in about four miles now. Oops, a little bit of rising land there. Now let's climb so we can see the town. It's hard to see from low altitude. So quickly we're up to 3,000, 4,000 feet. We're going to go 
cancel the climb like that. Now, yep, there it is right off the nose. Let's get the wing camera onto it. That's our turn point dead centre. That road running through the town. And uh, I'm going to turn right at that intersection. Look at the clouds over there behind the hills. Very low clouds. Maybe there's a fire there or something. Okay. So we're going to do a hard right turn here to head north. Here we go. Let's turn. And we're heading north following this, this road. Saw some lights flashing on the right up there. I think there's another airport there from memory. Damascus off to the right. And Presidential Palace coming up in the back. Four or five miles. So now thinking back to earlier flights. So that pointy hill straight ahead is near our second turn point. But what we're looking for now is couple of hills on the left here. This large round hill is just behind the presidential palace. So we're looking for the hill just before this large round hill. Here's an airport. Another airport. Here it is. Great. Easy to spot for summer day. So there we go. There's the palace sitting on top of this slightly smaller hill. I would have built the palace on the top hill, highest hill, but I'm sure they had good reasons for it. So there it is. Presidential Palace. Right. Now avoiding the uh, tall buildings on the second large hill. I'll continue up here. I can just keep this hill to the left. And we know now, well I know because I've flown this twice a day already, that at the very pointy hill straight ahead we turn right. And this is cool, we get to see a lot of high rise here. Uh, didn't notice it too much in the previous two flights, I was too busy trying to navigate. Which is why I like to fly these um, these routes about three times at least. It's not really till the third time round I usually start to be able to relax and really enjoy the scenery. I'm enjoying it now. It's so cool. So nice. Yeah, it's just keeping these hills on the left. It's pretty much getting us where we want to go. And we'll avoid this. This low hill is here. Turn a little bit left just after them. The road to Damascus, as, as they say. Wasn't that where the St. Paul had his conversion on the road to Damascus? I think that's where the saying comes from. So, yeah, I can see on my map. There, we're almost at that turn point, the tri triangle, and sure enough, the big hills on our left. So let's cl climb a little bit. Look out the window to the right, and lo and behold, there it is. There's our marvellous uh, cloverleaf intersection. FAB Virgil, FAB. Right. Now we'll turn hard right, pretty much due south to get back to the airport. That's pretty much it. And let's climb a bit, have a bit of relax. And look at Damascus in the afternoon sun. FAB. Look 
with the long shadows cast by those hills. So well modelled. Now because I haven't done it for a long time and because the Top Gun movie must be coming out sometime soon. Let's, let's buzz the tower back at the airport. Uh, of course having been given special permission for that manoeuvre. We'll actually talk to the tower. We'll ask him for a touch and go. Channel 2. Channel 1. Mike India Golf 1. Mike India Golf 1. Clear for touch and go runway 23 left and Here we are, so this is 23 right. We want to go to the next runway. Let's check our little map. Yep, here we are. Right over the airport. Okay, so let's wait now. First we've got to find the tower. Where is the tower? It's kind of over the parking area, but I guess we'll do a touch and go first. So, head to downwind. Yeah, there's the tower. Sort it out for a touch and go. Let's turn now. There's the runway, two through left. Uh, clear down. Cows over there. Waiting for the gear to come down. Traveling. Not down yet. It's going to be a pretty long touch and go. In fact, I think we'll abort it because, yeah, we've got no, no gear down indicator. Gear up. It's okay. We'll uh, try it again. Oh, it's pretty embarrassing that I fluffed touch and go. So let's uh, fly it a bit further this time, give the gear more time to come down. Fly out past this town. It's only run light. Runway lights should come on shortly too, I think. Okay. We're at an appropriate distance out. Turn back to heading 230. Lead off some speed. Oh, the lights have come on. Gear down. I think the gear's travelling this time. You can hear it rumbling away there.
I can do the brake and pop the speed brake. Problems with the gear here. Still no gear lights. Okay, this could be a real problem. Yeah, still got no. Well, now it's coming down. Okay, speed braking and three greens. Okay, touch and go. Cool, gear up. Flaps are up, I didn't even put it down. Right, let's do a very short circuit now and land. Okay, let's get permission to land. Mike into your golf one. Mike into your golf one. Clear to land runway two three left and zero zero. Okay, I'm gonna extend further this time and not risk the gear not coming down, that was embarrassing. But things happen. You've got to be adaptable, it's part of the fun of flying. Right, right let's turn now. Controlled right back, 300 knots, so we're gonna lose a lot of speed in this turn. 250 we're gonna Start thinking about dropping the gear. Gear down, full flaps. I can hear the gear travelling this time, it's, it's a sound you want to hear. Okay, get the big pitch up when you put the flaps down, so it's trimmed down a little bit. Good. Throttles right back, 188 knots. Let's see how we go. Sun is setting. I can hear the gear settling, 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 and three greens. Excellent. Whew. A little bit higher. We've got one red, three whites. Better higher than low. I'm usually too low on these things. Now we're right on glide slope, so a bit of back stick. Airspeed one three three. Keep it right back, I'll add some throttle when we get over the threshold. Right on glide slope. Speed at the threshold, looking for 110, and we're going to have 110. Oh wow. Now add throttle, flare, let it sink. We'll touch down between 95 and 100, and we're touching down a little bit slow. 92 and a half. Yeah. Too much talking. I've got to stop talking in that last five seconds, really. Anyway, I'll live and learn. And we'll take this taxiway and clear the runway. Bit of right toe break there. F other input. Cool. And there we go as the sun sets over Damascus.